will I ever find love again? This is for whoever needs it. So this is for you. If you need it, if you claim it, let me know. So are you ever going to find love ever again? That's what we want to know today. Welcome back to Hope Tarot Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe and your intuition. And it is up to you if you claim it or not. Um, it's timeless, so it's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. I've had a little play around at my desk. We've gone back to the previous lighting. The other new lighting gave me a migraine earlier after I'd done the pick a card reading. Uh, but there's quite a bit of an energy battle within that pick a card reading. If you didn't catch it, didn't catch it early, you might want to go and watch it. There may be a message there for you. Um, but because I think because my because I'm in the middle of like moving my desk about and I hadn't quite got my desk set up and I hadn't quite got the lights right it kind of lowers the ring of protection and so there was a bit of an energy battle with that and I ended up with a massive migraine and I'm not surprised but now I think if you're a regular here um I think yeah I've got the desk I want it I've got little clay heads on the head desk if they creep anyone out let me know in the comments I can move them around it's not a problem I just think they're cute and I like looking at them um but if they cause a reaction let me know but we want to know are you going to find love again are you going to find love I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons. Most importantly, four angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. If you read tarot, it's so important to have a desk or a work area that makes you feel relaxed, makes you feel safe, um, where you can work with light and do what you need to do. If it's off, you'll end up with a migraine and all sorts just thought i'd say that if anyone out there reads tarot um yeah i try and read in the same place even if i was reading for myself i would always read in my bedroom um away from everyone so we're doing a nine card spread i want to see you at the middle of it so i want to see what's around you but i also want to see how you view you if that makes sense. So you've got the temperance in the middle and it's reversed. There's a lack of flow, a lack of harmony and a lack of communication. It feels like you feel out of sync with the world. Um, yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, it feels like... Yeah, it just feels like... You, you feel forces are working against you. You may feel that, oh my goodness, I'm never going to find love. Destiny doesn't want me to find love. The universe doesn't want me to find love. That's nonsense. It does all the time. Um, It's okay to be closed off from romance for a while. If you're needing a little bit of space, that's okay. But when you feel ready, open yourself up again. As long as you're at the point where you can trust yourself not to do the wrong things, you know. Um, we've got the Page of Cups at the beginning of the reading, uh, which is, you know, if you've been here before, it says, you know, when we first discover music, when we first discover things as teenagers that are independent from our parents, that are independent from our environment, and we just find the little things that make us really happy for us it feels like it, there's a need to tap back to who you used to be because you are still that person you've lost yourself a little bit along the way we've got the seven of swords reversed you may have been betrayed um in this deck it's called the magical nordic deck and they have if you're new to tarot reading some decks will have a word on which will prompt you this has betrayal for the Seven of Swords reversed. The Seven of Swords for me is a pension pot for the future. When it's reversed, it's just deciding what thing you need to do next to benefit your future self. It can come from a place of you being quite cautious because you have been betrayed by people. The Six of Cups is the memories. So... It's memories of being portrayed in the past, let down. Even if you had good relationships, it's being let down by the universe by not having a long-lasting relationship. Um, we have the King of Swords reversed, which will be linked to the Seven of Swords. You know who they are. They may be an air sign, they may not be an air sign, they may just be an arsehole. Um, <laughs> you, know who, you know who we're talking about. Yeah, 
I don't like to swear, but that's it. Word that seems to be a word of a week, word of the week for me. Um, don't know why I don't like swearing. Not in readings. So we've got the King of Swords rest. As you know, they're very domineering. They like things their own way. I think you're cautious and worried about becoming attached to another King of Swords, whether they're male or female. I don't attach gender to the cards. It's all about the personality. And the King of Swords reverse, they like what they want. And if it's not what they want, they will manipulate, they will twist, they will threaten to cut off. They will, yeah, it's very difficult um, having a relationship. You can't have, they have a relationship with themselves. You can't have a relationship with them. But it feels like they're from your past. It feels like someone who really did connect with those happy hormones and those love hearts and everything. Um, then we have the four of pentacles reversed. You found it very hard to let go of them. Um, that's quite, a, that's quite common with toxic people, isn't it? They kind of, they get you to the point of, you need me and nothing else. No one else will ever want you. All of those ideas. And then we find it hard to let go of the toxic people. Because although what they, how they treat us is bad, we kind of get addicted to it because it's attention. And so it's learning. Maybe that's why you've had um, the temperance reversed at the moment. Because you're learning how to give yourself the attention, self-love, self-care. Um, becoming strong and stable again. The Four of Pentacles reverse can be, you know, your lack of stability within you. So maybe that's why the universe is putting you in this little bit of a timeout, this little holding cell of, okay, let's get you back on your feet so you don't go getting attached to a toxic person again. Because um, they know when we're vulnerable, they really do. I've got the Emperor. Uh, yeah, you get on your feet back on the ground again. The Five of Pentacles is an emotional withdrawal. I think as time goes by, you're going to learn to withdraw from the wrong people quicker and not get caught up in it too much. We've got the moon as well. I do think there is someone on the horizon. Um, as you feel better within yourself and more confident in yourself and as you undo all of the bad things that that person said to you in the past as you let go of that you'll open you'll be slowly opening your path up and you'll feel your path open and you will feel that love is coming towards you um where sometimes when we're in the mindset of i'm never going to find love again it's actually your angel's way of taking it taking that option away from you to work on you because there's other things you need to do because you will suddenly move to a point of i will find love again um and that's your angel's way of saying hey now it's safe to now you're okay let's see who's out here and the moon i've often said it's it reminds me of um driving at night without your head with your headlights on but you can't really see much further in the middle of in the middle of the countryside no street lights or anything so you can only see the road that's directly in front of the car and you have to have the blind faith the rest of the road is there and you know it's there you just have to believe that it's there and when you're ready to believe in love again that'll be the time when you know the universe starts putting people in front of you again and it'll be up to you to recognize who's good for you and who's not um but the emperor it feels like a growing period for you no matter what your age is it's like learning a lot and thinking do you know what i'm not going to let anyone make me feel bad again you're worthy of love and you should have love and why not have love and um i'm gonna pull some charms i think i'm gonna pull some charms this will only be whoever it connects with so i want some letters for some clues please from the charms so in a circle of protection let's ask the universe to give us some initials or maybe some name initials or place names or something that means something to you maybe connected to you to let you know that this is definitely your reading and if you want to support the channel put a like on the reading it really does make a difference helps me get into the algorithm it brings new people to the channel and maybe they'll get something beneficial like 
subscribe, turn your notifications on, put a purple heart in the comments. That really helps out a lot. Private readings are available from my website. I've got a £21 sale on at the moment over the weekend while I'm restructuring my website. I'm, do I'm doing so much at the moment. No wonder I got migraine. Anyway, within a circle of protection, I also want the charms to give us a little bit of information about who this person is that's going to be opening up. Because the moon is indicating there's going to be feelings, there's going to be a pathway opening up there. And they may be going through similar things to you at the moment as well. So we want information about them. So if you don't know, I live in a little sea in a little seaside town and um, I'm currently watching three seagulls on a roof over the road. Two of them are definitely trying to be lovers and the other one is getting mad because <laughs> they're not involved. So that may well be a message for someone out there. Yep, no, they've all just the moment I start talking about them and they all flew off. But yeah, there was two trying to have kissy kissies and the other one's just mad about it. Um, if that means anything to you, let me know in the comments. So we have a distance, um, a compass for measuring distance on a map. We have a never, never give up. It's been a while since this charm's come out, to be honest. Uh, so that's nice. We have a Scorpio that may be your zodiac sign, but it also may feature heavily in someone who's around the corner for you. And it does feel like there's someone around the corner for you. We have a fig leaf. Um, it's like a green, green enamel. It's really pretty. Um, and it's a leaf from the tree of life. So it's like, do you know what? You've probably got quite a nice life. Um, and now, now you're at the point where it's about catching the extra bits, you know. And it's reminding yourself of the roots that you've got and the hard work and the foundations that you have, you know. So, yeah. It's about catching the extras. We have a pram. That may be about children, babies, grandchildren, but also pets. We have a number one teacher. And that could be linked to the King of Swords reversed card. Whoever that in, whoever that means for you, whether they're male or female, it could be like, yeah, make sure you don't end up with one of them again. You know, we have a BJ and that's just rude. So I'm going to put that down there. We have... Lots of questions. They're going to ask you lots of questions and they're going to answer lots. We have an S, we have a B, we have a J and we have another B. So I need to paint my nails again. I haven't done that for a while um, because I was doing loads of paper mache in the exhibition. So I want to know more about this person. I want to know about what kind of relationship you're both going to have. Um, whoever the moon is, someone... Someone being brought in at the right time for you. But once you get to the point of, I know I'm going to find love again, you'll find that you'll be put on a path to, to discover each other. And it may start off as a long distance relationship. Um, don't give up. Sometimes it's when we do give up that the best people come along. So let's do Celtic Cross. I want to know more. I want to know everything. So the hermit, yeah, that's the phase you're in at the moment. Doesn't mean you're going to be in it forever. It's just where you're at at the moment. And they well may, may be the same. So we have the emperor. So we may be talking about an Aries as well. That may be your zodiac sign. Maybe theirs, but also maybe, you know, both of you independently working on bringing in your own foundation. You know, that solid thing of, do you know what? I'm not letting the King of Swords reverse come in and ruin my life again. I don't want someone like that. I want someone who's my equal. I want someone who's going to come and share my platform with me and, and share my home and share my life and keep adding on happy extras. Um, it feels like whoever's energy is going to be coming in towards you, they're in a very similar place. I often say, you know, when you're getting to know someone, I think it's really important to ask them about where their life's been for the previous six months in the lead up because you may have little things that are the same and it's a sign that the universe was preparing you both to meet each other. Um, so it's a bit like a job interview going on a date or getting to know someone but I do think that's an important question. What have you been doing like for the last six months and listen to what they say and ask it 
often because each time they tell you they'll tell you something a little bit a uh, little bit extra and you'll get that idea of oh that's why we didn't meet before you know um i've got the empress yeah they're going to be very much attracted to you the universe is going to bring you both together you don't need to worry about it you don't need to worry about it what you need to worry about at the moment is being in your hermit working on you becoming strong again finding your confidence again putting your feet back on the ground again and then the universe will bring this person in with the moon we can either be scared of the darkness or we can enjoy the ride and have faith that the path's there and listen to a podcast listen to some music have petrol in the car all of the things we can make that journey as stressful or as easy you know enjoy this phase when you enter a relationship you're no longer single and independent anymore so enjoy your singledom make sure you make the most of it you know yeah eight of cups lovely really really nice so it's all about lifestyle changes personal development but being on a journey it does feel like you'd be on a journey especially with the compass there it, it does feel like there's going to be movement you may meet each other on a journey or be in separate places and go on a journey together yeah it just feels really nice to be honest the seven of cups is behind you the options sometimes we feel pressurized don't we to be in a relationship don't let society pressure you into a relationship being single is perfectly fine being in a couple is perfectly fine whatever you want to do is perfectly fine when we've been single for a while we all, we all have a family member or a friend who says what are you still single like it's a bad thing it's not a bad thing being your own best friend sometimes is so beneficial. It's then getting to the point of recognising when you need to open up again and let someone back in again. So we've got the six swords being guided to a better future. I do see travel. I see movement. I see travel. I don't know if your work or their work, maybe it's their work as well, that involves moving around um, and that's how you'll meet or there's a holiday, or there's just being on a train, or there's just doing something, going somewhere. But it feels like movement, and it feels like a suitcase, and it feels like nice, and just going with the flow of it, and moving towards a better future together. And I do think the universe are gonna, but is going to guide you both together at the right point. So got the page of cups which is the start of the reading so that's the underlying question am i ever going to find love again am i ever going to find love again that's going to make me get goosebumps and my heart pounds and make me feel excited yeah of course you are of course you are even grown-up love it can be exciting it really does feel like whoever this king of swords reversed really weighed you down, really made you work hard for a little bit of no affection. And yeah, it feels like whoever's going to be coming in is going to be like a hot air balloon and, and happy and floating and showing you the good side of life. I've got the six of cups. That's the timing on this. And it's, Working through the memory bank, um, letting go of the past. I think that's the main time time in here is letting go of the past, letting go of past lovers, past homes, past jobs, um, and moving forward in a way of recognising where you are going next. The past is behind you. It'll only come back if you let it. And uh, yeah, the high priestess. Absolutely beautiful. Got some really strong cards here and two of cups as possible. Attainment, you are going to meet someone. Are you going to find love again? Yes, absolutely. 100%, absolutely. Of course you are. At the right time. At the moment, you're being comforted and repaired and healed. And it, right at this very moment, it's not the right time. But it does feel like there's someone on the horizon and uh the universal guide together at the same point and you don't have to hunt for them either you you'll cross paths the universe will make it happen so that's what i have for you i'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels can take you on your way if you're regular here let me know what you think of the new setup i've put a dark fabric down and we've got my clay heads that i made ages and ages ago um 
But yeah, let me know if the clay heads freak you out. Because if they do, I'll take them down. Um, or just move them about. Put them where I can see them. Um, yeah, let me know. What birds... When you're looking outside, do you see birds? We get a lot of seagulls here. We get a lot of li little tiny British birds here as well. And we get um, the occasional blackbird. Likes to sing very loud. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's the secret question. When you look out of your window, do you see birds? Random question. So... If you'd like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee, request pull a card in the comments. I will have a little shuffle and I'll tell you what card I got. May make sense, may not. Personal readings are available from my website. And the secret Purple Heart gang who make it to the last 10 seconds of a reading, you really do keep my channel going. You really do help get my thumbnails in front of eyeballs that no one's ever seen before and hopefully with that little random act of kindness that you guys do you're all so kind it will bring people to claim messages in a positive way when they need it the most hopefully um so i will see you soon